We've covered several hit and run crashes in Colorado Springs. Police say they've been on a steady rise until last year. That's the first time there's been a decline in recent years. Still more than 2000 hit and run crashes were reported in 2023. Last week, a single mother says she suffered a concussion and broken vertebrae in a crash involving a hit and run driver. 11 News reporter Elmer Mejia Segestume is joining me live here from Colorado Springs Police Headquarters. I know you spoke with them. We also heard from this victim who says that she wants help finding the person who's responsible for the crash she was in. Adam, the victim says the hit and run happened on Academy Boulevard and Platt, where her car was hit by a vehicle turning onto North Academy Boulevard. Carissa Russell says she doesn't know how it happened, but when their vehicles collided, Russell's car spun off, leaving her vehicle totaled. Russell says all she heard was, are you okay? Then a tow truck appeared and the other driver fled the scene. Russell and police told us they want help finding the person responsible. Police are asking for help looking for a newer model white Jeep Wrangler with collision marks on the back of the driver's side and report them to police. I have a now fracture in my C7 vertebra and my neck from it. Um, I've got bruised, my entire left knee is completely bruised. Um, my left hip, my right hip is completely bruised. Um, I had cuts on my face, uh, busted up my hands. Yeah, it was just not a pretty sight. Police told us if you are a witness to a hit and run, if it's safe to do so, take a picture of the vehicle and their license plate with your cell phone to help officers locate these suspects. Live in Colorado Springs, Elmer Mejia Sastume, KKTV 11 News. Hopefully in the case you talked about, somebody saw something and will report it. Elmer, thank you. Nonstop News at 530 continues with this mortgage and property.